happy day. Okay, I never vlog, but you know, I've really been challenging myself to do something a little bit more personal and a little bit more different on this channel. And while it makes me nervous and I don't even know how to hold a vlog, I was just like, you know, I just want to talk to you guys and show you around my day. So I'm actually on my way to church. I'm just putting everything together. This is my Chinese notebook. For those of you that don't know, I'm actually taking Chinese classes. Where are my notes? So I could actually show you that I've been doing Chinese. So I've been learning pinyin, which is pretty much the sounds of like all of the words. Here they are. That's my little fanny. Hi, baby. Oh, this is my outfit for today. So this is what I'm wearing. Let me show you right now. I'm wearing this light millennial pink blazer, which I think is really cute. I have this like black blouse right underneath. I'm wearing these black kind of like mom jeans, as you can see they're they're really nice and comfy these really cute shoes which i absolutely adore these are dior i got them at the webster in miami and then i'm wearing this bag that dennis gave me i totally have to do a house tour you guys because i have bought and decorated and done so much to this house and i just cannot be oh my god jupiter's face I also wanted to share some of the books that I've been reading recently. I finished this one, You Are a Badass, which I thought was such a good book. This is an amazing book that one of my friends gave me in Hawaii when I went on a one-week retreat. It's so beautiful. Like, literally, you'll open it up, right? And it'll be like a little mantra for you to say. So, I am blessed, and then it'll talk about, you know, whatever you want to feel for that day. I think it's so nice, just like a nice way to set the tone for the day. This book right here, Hard Talk, is such a cute poetry for little life advices. It's really, really cute. I'm currently reading Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. It's been, been really crazy because recently I've really started to prioritize like self-care, but also just things that I really want to do in my life. Hey, Jupiter. Don't tell Dennis. Ugh. Always get whack with your beautiful tail. Anyways, and I have found that I've been waking up super early. If you guys don't know, I've been waking up at 5 a.m. every single day. It's been a struggle, but it's also been really, really nice and rewarding. Oh, the baby. What a little fan you are. What a little fan. Fanny. What a little fanny. Jupiter is such a baby. But anyways, I've been waking up at 5 a.m. every single day, and I have found that because of that, I've been so productive. I've been reading more. I've just been on my A game, baby. Ooh, that's my mom. Hola, madrecita. ¿Ya nos vamos? Sí. Sí, son las que... Me parece, no estoy segura, me parece. ¿Quieres decirlo a la cámara? Ay, no, ¿quién es? <risa> Nadie. <risa> Ay, perdón, ¿qué tía? <risa> All right, guys, I'm back from my Chinese class. I had a great time. I'm currently trying to like whip up something nice to eat because I told Dennis, I thought today, obviously our house is so dirty. Like it's embarrassing. Today's a Sunday and I was like, oh my gosh, we need to clean. We have uh, some of his friends that come over tomorrow because he's going to start up his channel again and they're going to help him with that. It's so weird for me to be vlogging. I'm just not used to this. I don't know. I love this little apron. I got it off of Anthropology, and every time I wear it, then it's like, it's like, oh, you look so cute. And I just, I love, I love cooking, you guys. So many recipe books right here. And I got it off of this called Thyroid Healing Medical Medium. Because if you guys don't know, I actually suffer. I have Hashimoto's. And, um, you know, I'm, uh, it's like on and off. It's an on and off thing, and it's constantly coming back. But I also just noticed it just depends on, like, the amount of self-care that I give myself, whether that's sleep, stress, and the type of food that I'm eating. So I just feel like it's very curable. And I always drink water and lemon. It's just such a simple little treat to my body to hydrate, and these straws are the best, you guys. Don't use straws anymore, and I hate to preach this, but... So I actually got this straw, um, I think in Seattle or something. You can buy these anywhere. It's just like a nice metal or aluminum straw, and I also have some glass straws, but Dennis was one day telling me about this little turtle that he was like all over Reddit, and he had... He was so, in so much pain, and he was crying and crying, like literally a turtle crying, like like crying and when they went to look at what was wrong with the turtle he actually had a huge straw stuck up of his nose it was like all the way over here in his brain and it didn't take me much to make the switch guys like seriously like you can't even recycle straws so just do this this is for the good of the planet and for animals these lemons you guys if you've never had them these are Meyer lemons when you open them up they're actually as orange as an orange they're pretty orange like they look like a tangerine and they taste mm -hmm. 
so freaking good. I'm that weird person that I could have an avocado for lunch, just like by itself, and lemons. Like I could just. It's so good. Hey Jupiter, always following me around. Your soup is almost ready. So let me know down below in the comments if you guys are enjoying this. I feel really weird. I feel like a noob vlogging. I just don't vlog my life. I don't do this. This is not like me. But I want to try something a little bit different. So just let me know. And if there's anything that you guys want me to like chat about more on this channel or talk about, let me know in the comments. I seriously feel like we're meeting for the first time. Like I feel shy and I'm like, oh my God. And I'm about to eat in front of you. How many of you guys feel awkward when you eat in front of someone for the first time? That happened. You look so adorable, Jupiter. You look like a model. So cute. If you guys have any pets, get them one of these. I don't even know what it's called, but his trainer was the one that recommended it, and he loves it. Like, it's nicer than his bed. It's so comfy for them, especially for big dogs. They almost can never get comfortable anywhere. Comment below how much you guys think he weighs, and then I will like and pin the comment that got it right. That's a beauty. That's a fatty. Your soup is ready. You want to go eat it? You wanna go eat your soup? Oh my god, I want another golden retriever. That is my dream. But Dennis wants a pug. <laughs> a fluffy fatty like this. I want a fatty like this. If we get a pug, he has to be really fat. Fat and burpy. And you, cutie pie. Fast forward a few hours later. Dennis is home. What's up? We ordered pizza. We're having an office marathon. Did you only strictly eat the crust on that ah, pizza? Like, Did you yeah. eat just the crust? Look, show it. No, it's actually Jupiter. I have a complaint about Jim. That is not big picture. I like a lot of complaints. Good morning, you guys. Oh my God. Okay, so Dennis and I pretty much just had a whole marathon last night of the office. Then we fell asleep. And for some reason, we are so tired this morning. So Mondays, we usually film Happy Monday. <laughs> and I'm always, I always like to wake up early to be like super productive in the day. And I like Sundays to be like cleaning day so that Mondays, the whole house is nice and clean. And this morning, we just had no motivation to get up. It is super late. It's 10.30 now, and we usually start filming at 11. So today's gonna be a little bit of a rocky day. He also has some meetings that he has to take. I have some meetings later. I also have to go shopping because I'm gonna do a photo shoot tomorrow. So it's just kind of like an overwhelming day. I think that's what made me not want to get out of bed, quite frankly. Hey, Jupiter, I'm sorry. I, he didn't get to go on his daily walk today, so it's kind of a sad day for me. I met a guy yesterday at my Chinese class that was showing me his schedule, and he is definitely type A, just like me. Like every hour of the day has to be planned out. And um, he was kind of explaining how, you know, I, I was asking him, do you ever get stressed out? Like being so type A and he was like, you know what, I just forgive myself if something doesn't happen. And I was like, wow, that's like a really good rule of thumbs. Like just forgive yourself. What is this thing doing? Oh, I just don't like mornings like this because I already start pretty anxious. Like if you feel it in my voice, I'm like breathing heavy. I'm, I'm just behind. It's okay, I gotta forgive myself. Thanks so much to everyone who brought me dates on tour. It was so incredible. I laughed every single time. I told you guys only in one video a long time ago. And a bunch of you brought me dates, so I love dates. All right, you guys, Natalie in the house, the chef. Oh, can we turn that off? The Roomba is going off, whatever. I made these uh, tofu egg scramble mushroom with basil quesadillas. I don't know. Can you tell them what you said? <laughs> that if YouTube doesn't work out, that she can be a top vegan chef. He's been quite sad, a little poppy sad. He hasn't been eating either. So, sometimes he just likes to be hand fed. Thank you. 